We're going to learn how to create a React Native Expo notification inbox in this video, and also how to delete past notifications in a notification inbox. Now, what is a notification inbox? A notification inbox is an inbox that collects all push notifications sent to your users in your app. So uh, it's great if you have, say, an e-commerce app and you send out push notifications to your users. Maybe you send out discount codes, things like that. Uh, you can have all those discount codes collected in a notification inbox within the app. Uh, also, maybe you have an education app and uh, you're sending out weekly uh, homework assignments, things like that, that can go into a notification inbox. So in this video, we're going to show how to set up a notification inbox. We'll review how to set up push notifications uh, in React Native Expo in about a minute. It doesn't take very long. Before we get started, if you like videos about React Native Expo, Flutter, things like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll go ahead and get started. Your first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a page like this. If you haven't created an app already, you'll want to click this create an app button. In this video, we're using React Native Expo. So you'll want to click that framework. That should take you to a page like this. Before you set up the notification inbox, if you haven't already, you'll want to follow these start here instructions. It's super simple to have push notifications set up in your React Native Expo app. Literally, all you have to do is uh, npm install native notify in your terminal, uh, import this register nn push token in your app.js file, and then uh, copy and paste this function here in your app.js function uh, just at the top right there and you're already done you're ready to send push notifications at that point you can expo start open up the expo go app on your phone uh, open up the app on your phone and then send yourself a push notification you can go ahead and start sending push notifications once that happens uh, it should take you to a screen like this You'll notice I've already sent myself some push notifications and here's uh, my uh, notifications that I've sent myself. These are the notifications that are gonna show up in my notification inbox. Um, so once you have that all set up, you're ready to go to the notification inbox setup guide. Um, and it doesn't take very long to get this uh, set up. So we'll go ahead and follow these instructions together. Your first step is to uh, copy these things into your terminal. So let's go ahead and come in here, paste that there, click enter. All right, so that will ensure that you have the most up-to-date version of Native Notify. Your next step is make sure you have all of these uh, imported in your notification inbox screen. Um, I already have these React. React Native functions imported. So I'm just going to import this get notification inbox function. So I'll go up here, import that there. Step three is make sure your notification inbox function is a hook function. This is really important. Uh, if it's not a hook function, it won't work. So if you need to, uh, if you don't know what a hook function is, it just looks like this. Um, and there's a link right here that lets you know how hook functions work. Step four is to use some sort of state to house your data in. Uh, this get notification inbox is going to return an array of data. Um, and you need somewhere to house that data so that it can be used in something like a flat list or something like that. So um, this is just an example. You can name it something else if you want. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep the name uh, data. And you'll notice uh, data is being used by a flat list. I'm going to be using a flat list to uh, pump out all of the uh, notifications inside of the notification inbox. Um, and you'll notice there's going to, you'll see this in the console log in a second. But um, in uh, the data, there's going to be um, each item, each is an object. And within that object, there's a notification ID, which can be used in this key extractor. Um, and there's also a notification title, which is the push notification title, the push notification message, and the date that the push notification was sent. Um, and so I've already styled all this. You can style it however you want. 
Uh, we'll see what it looks like in just a little bit, but I wanted to explain how that works. Uh, step five is just copy this use effect and paste it here. Again, use effect is a, a hooks thing. Um, it's basically component did mount for hooks. Um, some things to notice about this is it needs to be an async function. The reason is we need to be able to use this uh, await keyword here with this get notification inbox, we need to await uh, to make sure there's a value returned uh, to this notifications variable before moving on. Uh, if you don't do this, it, it, it'll it just not work properly. Um, it'll say unfinished promise or something like that in, in the the terminal. So you need to be able to use the await keyword. So make sure there's this async here. So it's an async function. Um, and this console logs here to show you what what will be returned to the notifications. It'll be an array full of objects. And you'll want to use the set data function to uh, update the value to whatever the notifications are. And that's what's going to be used in this flat list. All right, so that's actually all you have to do. Um, and you'll notice down here, this will show you these in, these uh, notifications will show up in your notification inbox. This is what's going to show up. Uh, and what I'm gonna be doing today is I'll show you what it looks like. And also you'll notice uh, I sent a notification to myself with a misspelled word. I said, use the discount code 10 off to receive a 10% discount on your next order. I should have said next order. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like uh, with this in, and then I'm gonna delete that notification and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app that I have the notification inbox in. This app is called Startup Notes. If you'd like to learn more about how I created this app, I have a much longer video. Uh, it's a React Native tutorial. It should pop up here. Uh, it's a React Native tutorial for beginning, beginners on uh, how to uh, use React Native. I'll show you how I format my apps in that video and everything. Anyway, we created this app together in that video if you'd like to see it. Uh, but here is my notification inbox. You'll notice it looks a lot like a, a, an email inbox with all the different notifications. Um, and uh, if there were more, you'd be able to scroll down. But here are the notifications. This is the one with the misspelled word dext. I meant to say next. So I'm going to come back here uh, and delete this notification. All right. So now if I leave this page and then I come back, there we go. It's gone. So yeah, that's how uh, notification inboxes work. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. And if you have any ideas for additional features we could add in to the notification inbox, anything like that, or any uh, features at all to Native Notify, please let me know in the description below. Uh, it's a push notification company. Uh, I'd love building things that users request. So if there's anything related to uh, push notifications, notifications, anything like that, that you would love to see in a push notification service, just let me know in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.